Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel, Chasing Meat. This is Michael, I'm Dawn, and that's it. That's just us. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our video on our store haul. Um, this past weekend we went up to uh, Kalamazoo to go to a bourbon festival that um, it was their second annual one. The first one was during COVID, so it got postponed um, and then re uh, scheduled for a couple times. And the last year when they had it, they rescheduled on a date that we had to photograph a wedding. So this year we were able to, to make the festival. Um, and on the way up, we decided to, to make a little outing of it with our, our friends. And we did some bourbon, bourbon hunting. And as you can tell from the uh, video title, this is our haul. Yes, uh, like Mike said, we went to Kalamazoo, and Kalamazoo actually is in Michigan. It's um, southern Michigan, so yeah. hop, skip, and a jump from northern Indiana, where we're from. So, anyway, we visited three liquor stores, mm -hmm. all of which we have visited before. Um, but we kind of knew we were going to go back to one in particular one, because we just kind of been following them on Facebook this past year, and they have a tendency, this particular liquor store has a tendency to post some some other things that are brought out and um, if you find it in your fancy I guess to to go up and buy or not quite buy yet until the weekend or whatever some later date you can ask for the owners to save you a bottle and more likely than not they will do so and go up and get it so but anyway we'll, we'll let you know which what liquor store and what we bought from there so we bought quite a bit <laughs> from there so anyway um, our first two um, Purchases were from Megabev, one in Portage, Michigan, and one in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Mm -hmm. So two different locations. Yeah. Now, mind you, our first purchase was the lost bet because Don had made our made a bet on who was going to buy the first one uh, on the way up, and she lost that bet. So, what was your first one? My first one. Well, my, first of all, for the record, Brian made me buy it. Yes, you I feel like coerced you, yes. twisted you ar your arm. Yes, and that might have been a complete lie that he made me buy it. But, you know, someone had to break the ice. Someone so, had to break Anyway, um, I have a collection of Whistle Pig, so I have yep. quite a bit of it. And um, they just recently released their piggyback bourbon whiskey. So, I got Whistle Pig, Whistle Pig Piggyback. Small batch, 100 proof, bourbon whiskey, aged six years. Not sure if you can see that, but I'm going to hold it up anyway. There we go. That was my purchase. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I was super excited about it. I, I don't think this is going to be super hard to get. I mean, I've already, a couple of liquor stores we've been in, I think I saw it. And then we saw it at all the other places as well. But um, I, I kind of, I don't like to go in a liquor store, look around, and walk away empty-handed. Yeah. That's really kind of not my style, which kind of sucks because we kind of spend more money that way. But... <laughs> Anyway, that is how we sometimes got a lot more stuff back here than we probably needed. Yeah, pretty much every time we walk into a, a, a liquor store, we end up walking out with something. Something, something. But anyway, um, so this particular bottle, I just want to double check my notes here. I pay, uh, We paid $50 for that. So yep. that's what my first one was. Oh, so the second store um, actually was... I'm going to do a second. I'll do the second one because okay. um, the second store we went to was another mega bev and that was in Kalamazoo mm -hmm. and um so when we were there again this particular store is pretty big we didn't do a store um review I guess with camera there no but um well they wouldn't they, let us so yeah I don't remember it doesn't matter yeah. I mean either way we we try not to like be in your face about our videoing but I know um people like to watch that that kind of stuff I enjoy it I enjoy people taking pictures of liquor stores just to see what people have and stuff like that but anyway to that end, we um, found a Calumet Tenure, and um, we already had a Calumet yeah, Tenure, right there. which we got in Kentucky like, earlier this year, and we really, really yeah, we liked, really liked it. it. I mean, we have like eight, 14, 15, 16, you know, we, you know, we got to have them all. But we knew when we, um, if we found another one, at least near our hometown, we were going to pick up another bottle of this because it is really that good. Yeah, um, so, it. yeah. So anyway, this is Calumet number... Uh, not number 10. Calumet year 10. 10 year. Scooby Doo ending. Calumet 10 year. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking here. It's 100 proof. And um, yeah. 
what I, what I really do like the bottles too because just the artwork on them they're all horses and um I don't know it's just sometimes I get enamored by the bottles and <laughs> but the fact that this one is good we need it we needed a backup we got it yep. anyway as our friend Brian would say gotta have a backup hashtag gotta have a backup for Brian right yep. yeah anyways we paid sixty dollars for this one so find Kaya met 10 it's good get it Yep. I'll let you do two in a row since you know I did. All right. So carrying on that theme of the Calumets, um, at the next place we came across uh, the rye version. So this is the Calumet small batch, and this is a rye, and it's 86 proof, and it's a blend of 15 and 8 year old uh, uh, whiskeys. Rye whiskey. Yep. Yeah, and it's for. For rye, this is somewhat rye whiskeys are somewhat somewhat new to our collection. We do have a few. Yeah, we early on we shied away from going with with trying ryes and and, and especially buying them because the ones that we tried we did not like. Yeah. We're revisiting that now because we're We've, trying more and more and we're we're finding more and more that we like. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's part of the fact that lately we've been drinking a lot more um, high proof bourbon and since typically the rye was pretty spicy and then just in this one you said was 86 proof which is kind of interesting it'll be interesting to see what that tastes like yeah. uh, or the heat is like on that but that's part of the reason we kind of shied away from it but lately like lately being the past six 12 months we've been trying higher proof which we really do all like yeah. um, so we took that um, and this bottle by the way um, Mike's talking about the third liquor store we went to is a place called Texas Mart and it is in Kalamazoo and that's the place where we spent most yeah, of our time yeah, and most the, of our money yeah. this weekend and it was a, a, a place that if you were driving by you probably would not stop um, it's not much to look at from the outside mm -hmm. however one of the things that he's done is he he has somewhat dedicated to um, um, private barrels so he has a, a big collection of private barrels of mm -hmm. everything so if you want a, a, a somewhat hand-picked variety of something definitely go there we definitely highly recommend it yep yep so that um, is a great segue into um, a store picks that we got there yep. so why don't you show on here and this one um, was 70 oh yeah so I'm gonna put that up yep $70 you said the 10 year was 60? Yep. Those might have been reverse. So I think the, the rye, I thought the rye was mm -mm. cheaper, but mm -mm. no. I mean, they're, yeah, well, they're yeah. still 60, 70 within the range, same right. range, so. But it might, yeah, anyway. All right. <clears throat> so um, the next one we're going to say is another whistle pig <laughs> that goes on Dawn's selection. My side, uh, even though I didn't pick this one. <laughs> no, this, I think the words were, do you have this one? Mm. No. So we got it. So this is the Whistle Pig Farm stock, um, although then it has home over the, the farm. So, and this is a 86 proof whiskey from uh, Whistle Pig. And this one clocks in at uh, $72. $72. $72. $72. <laughs> and we didn't, again, this was one that we didn't have in the collection. We, we saw it, so... Uh, we went ahead and purchased it. Yeah. You know, special note as you're introducing the, this price for this bottle and the last one, um, with Texas Mart, uh, one of the owners of the store, I mean, he's a genuinely nice guy. And I think he's, he's just, he, he, when he talks to you, he's, it's like you've been friends for a long time. And he definitely um, explains to you how he does appreciate, you know, you know, he, how, where he came in life, um, yeah. and, and he's blessed, you know, and so he just, um, really makes you feel like he's not trying, I mean, he's trying to do, to, to have a business, have friends and, you know, not price gouge anybody. So basically that's what I was trying to say, I guess, is, um, he's not, he's not out to, you know, really hype, hype up the price if he can all help yeah. it. So basically most of his stuff, if not all so far that we've experienced was at, um, State minimums. Yeah, everything. It? Everything we got from that store was state minimums. State minimums. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we, then one was one. He actually even looked up to because he he thought there was a, a change better, on that one, and there was. Yeah, and he gave us the better price. So, yeah. yeah. Doesn't. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
So um, let's go with store picks that we got from there because yeah. you know, like I said, he had a lot of a lot of store picks. So that's what I think what we were. I remember most about this liquor store last year is all the store picks that he had, and we just recently started getting more into um, store picks too. Uh, again, a, as a influence from our neighbor um, neighbors friends. Uh, Brian and Denise, who actually have a YouTube channel, The Bourbon Crew. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they... Check them out. Yeah, check them out for check sure. Check out their other bur their other YouTube channel that is on motorcycle, which is Two Moto Crew. Yep, yep. We're having a blast with them. But anyway, he kind of turned us on to the store picks, and so now we kind of look at store picks, and we kind of go, oh, I want that. So the next store pick um, we're going to talk about is Iron Fish Distillery. Iron Fish Distillery is out of Thompsonville, Michigan, up in, up near Traverse City, Michigan, and it happens to be a distillery that we went to, I think, last fall, mm -hmm. and did a, a, a bigger tour with the owners, and, you know, so it was kind of fun, um, so check out the video we have on that distillery tour somewhere here, there, down, who knows, anyway, wherever I'll Mike's site will link it, <laughs> wherever he links it, you know, um, anyways, this Iron Fish Distillery is barrel strength. It's bourbon whiskey finished in maple syrup barrels. Yum, yum, yum. It's, this was good um, when we got it last year, and I'm hoping it's much gooder um, this year. With a little With bit higher proof. A little higher proof and a store pick. So, 110 proof. So, yeah, if you get a chance to visit Iron Fish up, up in yeah. Michigan, definitely go, go check it out. They've got uh, a neat setup there, and uh, they've got. A great selection of, of finished uh, bourbons. Quite a bit, quite a bit, yeah, for sure. I mean, it, again, there are several of these, including Mayor Pingree, where the, these, these two distilleries that we visited um, started out with MGP juice yep. until they had their own. So yep. these guys are now producing their own. Yeah. So they're um, the ones that they produce themselves, are they call their estate, and it's in a, a slightly different bottle. Mm -hmm. um, they've got uh, at least two, I think maybe three, maybe three of now. their own yeah. uh, estate brands out. Uh, this happens to be the Mad Angler, um, yeah. which we found really good. Yeah, it's very cool. They have really good marketing. We can't say enough positive things about these guys. Yeah. I mean, just overall, I mean, whether or not you like the bourbon and whiskeys, um, gins, vodkas, rums, whatever that they're all making, um, it's a cool yeah. They have a, a mezcal um, version that um, is not my cup of tea, but um, a lot of our friends uh, really, yeah. really, really yeah. like it. Yeah, so anyway, we should probably quit talking about Ironfish because yeah. this is really about store hall, not Ironfish. Right. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, one side note. <laughs> we paid $70 for this. And if I'm not mistaken, that's about what we paid for this, the bourbon up at, yeah, at the gift shop at the gift shop and just in the distillery itself yeah. but being that this is a store pick usually a little more pricey but yeah. nope great all right the next one um on my list anyway is a hirsch now uh a couple of months ago we had purchased a orange version <laughs> of this we still don't really know what that was do we? it was just it was orange yeah. <laughs> i think it's actually yeah. upstairs in my office so um but we had tried a someone when we were at another liquor store doing their raffle and waiting in line. Somebody pulled out a, a flask of, of Hirsch. I don't remember what version it was, but it was really good, which is why we went out and purchased the uh, the orange one. Um, so this time I came across the blue label. The turquoise. And, turquoise. Or, or turquoise, whatever <laughs> color you want to describe this as. It could be navy next. Yeah. I don't know. And this one is called the Horizon, and it's a straight bourbon whiskey, and it's uh, 92 proof. And again, we got this for $35, mm -hmm. and yeah. um, it's a blend of two different uh, bourbons. Bourbon. Yep, yeah, both are bourbons. <laughs> I just want to make sure that. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so we're we're somewhat anxious to try this. And I'll say somewhat because we've got to try all the other ones yeah. first. <laughs> well, we don't we don't know much about Hirsch. I mean, we just all we know is we tried it on a tailgate on the, during a raffle. <laughs> yeah. So an uh, an aisle way an aisle way tailgate. Yeah, that's we that was that was a lot of fun. But anyway, so we're anxious to try that. Yeah. And, and to be honest with you, that's thirty five dollars, right? Well, I remember Mike and I started years ago, um, just grabbing bottles off the shelf. And I I mean, I remember our little teeny little tiny little liquor store here in Elkhart, Indiana. I pulled a dusty bottle off the shelf and it was Elmer T. Lee. You know, who knew that you that would be a bottle that people would be chasing now? 
So yeah. who knows? Maybe her shall be the next Elmer T. Lee. Yep. <laughs> who knows? What's next on our list? What else? Get oh, down there? I only have one more left. And again, it's another Iron Fish Distillery uh -huh. product. And that this one isn't actually, well, it's a, it's a pre mix. Yeah. It's like so, a pre cocktail. Yeah, pre cocktail. So Iron Fish Distillery, it's Black Manhattan. And it is a Manhattan, but they call it Black Manhattan. And when we were on our distillery tour with them, they didn't even have it bottled yet. So they, we, we got... Yeah, we did we try got, it. We got a chance to try it. And so we we're super excited to see it. It's it's a little smaller. How many how many milliliters is this? Everything. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's a 375 yeah. milliliter. So it's a little expensive. It's $30. But, you know... Again, part partially, we wanted to support the smaller yeah. distilleries, the, the craft distilleries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, we do that with our, our castle in, in Key. Not that they're small, but, you know, yeah, we, we want to believe in it and we want to um, patronize them and, mm -hmm. and, you know, build them up. So we do that with a number of the craft distilleries. Yeah, um, for sure. So. For sure. Yeah, and we're, so we're pretty lucky to have, right, like, within an hour, two-hour drive, several distilleries we can actually go go see and visit. So, but anyway, um, this is the last purchase I that I got from... Texas Mart. Um, good Lord, we could have bought a bunch more, but you know, you got to have a little restraint. Yeah. <laughs> so. Anyway. So that's it, right? No, I think you have one more, don't you? Nope, I'm done. I got three. So there yeah. was my... That oh, we one. had four. Yeah. Pangry. We have this guy. This guy. Oh, put, the, put the two calumets together. Two calumets. Two whistle pigs. Two whistle pigs. Oh, that's kind of a trend going. Two Where's whistle that pigs. Two iron fishes, <laughs> two whistle pig, two calumets, but yeah. So anyway. Something like that. Yeah, we'll whatever. See so anyway, that was the store haul from this weekend um, on our way up to Kalamazoo, Michigan for the Kalamazoo Bourbon Festival. And that was a good experience. Check out the, the video when I get it posted. And I'll probably also put a, a link in it when I when I update it. Yeah. And Something like that. Yeah. Other than that, I don't know what else to say. That's it. That's you know. it. All right. Well, thanks Until for joining next time. us. Ciao, Bella. Bye-bye. Yeah, my store pick was, again, Texas Mart. Um, single barrel, aged seven years. And this is a... Where's the proof? Oh, it's like, it's 61.7% Yeah, 61.7% ABV, ABV, so, ABV, so 123. One, two, one, it's, well, yeah, 100, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's at least 122 proof. 122 proof. And this is a Mayor Pingree. <clears throat> so, again, seven years. And we had previously gone to um, Valentine Dis Distillery, which is who makes this. And we tried their flight and all good products. Um, we bought a couple. And we, the, the store owner came out and said he had a, a store pick of this, so we grabbed it. Yeah, for sure. Um, and this one was um, was eighty dollars. Yep. Yeah, that's again. I mean, this seems like about the right price in the general range when you buy a store pick because it's usually eighty dollars. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's gonna be hopefully it's a good one because you know you want to support small craft distilleries, yeah. but and support a liquor store that um, doesn't price gouge you. So. Yes. I don't know what else to say. That's it. That's you know. it. All right. So, thanks Until for joining next time. us. Ciao, Bella. Bye-bye. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I get lifting on you? Got it. Got it. All, right. All right. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. After the fourth time, we even had notes. But anyway. Yeah, I gotta order that.